I thought I would share with you my thoughts on Margaret Atwood's Orcs and Crake. This book has become my favourite book, I think. I can safely say it's one of my favourite books ever. It's such a good book. It's so beautifully written and also so like intricately written. Like the reader has to work for it to understand what actually happens in this book. So first of all I'll do a little summary of what happens. So in this book it follows the story of Snowman slash Jimmy and first of all we're introduced to this world where He's abandoned on the beach and he's with these strange human-like creatures. We don't really understand what's happening. We get a sense that this is an apocalyptic world, but no idea what's gone on, no idea what's happened, why he's here, why he calls himself Snowman instead of his original name, Jimmy. But through flashbacks, we begin to see what has happened. So we learn about Jimmy's younger life about his mixed relationship with his father and his mother and how his mother leaves him and runs away to join God's gardeners. Um, then we also find out who Crake is. So Crake is his best friend called Glenn. They end up playing a game and he, the game is like extinct, extinct the song. <clears throat> And then he gets the name Crake. Obviously, he chooses that as his like online username. So we learn about who Crake is, how he's like a genius, and how his dad knew something that was going on within the corporations. That the corporations have been patterning diseases and having the um, like antidote. And are keeping it back from the public so they can make a bit of a profit before they release it. And so his father is killed. So it shows how Crake is dealing with that and what his master plan is for it all. Then we also get snippets of Oryx. She comes in at random times. Um, we find out a bit about her early life near the beginning of the book how she was sold and became like a sex trafficked child at the age of like six or seven. She is forced into the porn industry. She's in, she's in Asia, but then she gets over to America and she's found in a garage and they think it's some sort of sexual thing. And then she becomes sort of like a sex, um, like prostitute for students at Crake's University. So the students could go to the student services and get a prostitute when they want one. So Oryx comes in at bits and pieces. It's not until towards the very end when we're actually introduced to her in a chronological sense. So, yeah, it's interesting then about her background. And I thought, since she's like the main title and she's first in the title, I thought she'd be a bit more prominent, but she just comes in here and there. Um... So yeah, we find out about their past and then we understand that Crate wants to like create the next best thing to humanity, a better humanity, and then to destroy the whole of humanity by releasing this disease that only Jimmy is immune to, or so we think. And so yeah, everyone starts to die. Jimmy ends up killing Crake after Crake kills Oryx, who is his girlfriend at the time. So yeah, it's really interesting how things come together and mix in together and yeah it's just really cool how Margaret Atwood does that and how she releases information only at certain points and at other times we're still confused as to what's actually been happening but I, I really enjoyed that aspect of it. Margaret Atwood has become definitely one of my favourite authors. She, this is the first book of hers that I've had to read. I have seen Handmaid's Tale and I've always wanted to read that book, just never got around to it. But having this on my course syllabus for Man Against Nature, it was really interesting 
reading a, like her writing and I'm really excited to read more of it. I have ordered the second one because this is a trilogy. It's the Mad Adam trilogy and this is the first one and I ordered the second one in the library to read. So yeah, I think it's definitely a good read for someone who wants to get into Margaret Atwood. Maybe, see, I would say maybe read Handmaid's Tale first if you've seen the series, but I think this would actually be a better starter as I went into reading this having no idea what it was about, no idea what was going to happen into it. Whereas I think if I read Handmaid's Tale first, I'd probably be influenced by the TV show a bit more reading that. So yeah, I definitely give this one a read first. It's so good. Uh, it's not that long either. I read it in maybe four days. So yeah, I mean, it is really gripping and the chapters are really small as well, which is really good. Yeah, there are some strange things in it. I realised that Atwood likes to make names up and she also creates creatures in this. In this we have the pigoons, which are pigs that have human organs developed in them so they can kind of be used as an organ bank. Uh, we have the wool, wool box, which is a wolf and a dog mixed together. The um, raccoon, which is a raccoon mixed with a skunk. And then the new humans are called the Quakers or the children of Quake. And it's, it's, it's just really interesting how she plays with words and language in this. Also corporations that she makes up. Uh, there's the bliss pill, the Bliss Plus Pill, which is designed to make humans immortal. There's loads of different names that she uses, I can't think of any at the moment, but they're just so funny and witty, and it's really interesting how she just made up them on the spot near enough. And, and I really like her commentary on what we're doing now. Even though this was written in 2003, and there's some, like, it's set in the future, but it still uses DVDs and CDs, so... There's some points where it feels outdated, but it really resonates with me, like how we're so capitalist and how consumerism is um, taking over our lives and how we just want to find the next best product to buy. And yeah, it's really interesting how she takes those things and kind of puts them in extreme light to make us realise what we're doing now. Uh, we discussed in my class whether this is a sci-fi or not and Margaret Atwood herself doesn't like the word sci-fi she prefers it to be called speculative fiction which I mean it's dystopian so it's kind of sci-fi but I kind of like the speculative fiction label on it because it is speculating certain aspects of our lives which we're doing now which could be pushed to the stream and what we could be doing with our lives. So yeah, that was my review on Oryx and Crake. I would give this a 5 out of 5 because it's so good and you should definitely read it. Um, yeah, if you've read this or any of our... If you've read this or any other Margaret Atwood books, leave a comment down there so I can see what other Atwood books I should be reading because from just this book alone, I can tell she's going to be one of my favourite authors. And I'm really excited to read the second one, which is called Year of the Flood. And of course I'm going to be reading Handmaid's Tale at some point. So yeah, if you like this kind of stuff, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and like if you enjoyed this kind of content. And I shall see you next week. Bye!